action. All righty. Hello. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hey, Shavita, can hey you Randy. Can up the air conditioning, please? Do you know how to do that? Arnie will help you. Check one, two. Check one, two. Let me see. Are you guys hearing me okay? Can you yes, guys? You sound great. Oh, good. Yep, we can hear That's you. That's what it is. it is. I'm not hearing myself, but I do hear you. You sound like a promo voice lady. <laughs> Who's that talking to me? That's Bobby. Bobby Sheldon, how you doing, Randy? Hi, Bobby. I don't see you. Yeah, you see my face smiling there. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, you don't? You? Oh, you're on my main screen. How does that work? How do I... Hi, Adam. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom Alamon. Hello. Hello. There you are. Cool. Okay, you've logged in. Wait, hang on. I have to make Facebook go away. I don't need this anymore. Leave page. I was just going to tell everyone that we have so many good things in store for you tonight. I'm so excited. We have several guests and one of them is live in studio, so we're going to, um, I'm actually, until I'm talking to you, Tom, to interview you, hang on, let me just make sure. Is everything okay? You're tilting it a little more? Okay, great. So as you can see to my right, I have what looks like the doctor. And the doctor is Dr. Voice from Toluca Lake. And he's one of our VO Mastery sponsors. And he is going to be providing us with lots of goodie bags. So I'm going to scoot in. Maybe you'll come a little so that the mic is not totally okay. blocking you, Jonathan. Great. So, Tom, we're going to come to you next. Now, hang on, let me pull this. You're in Ohio, right? Correct, Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Tom is from Falcon Paymaster Payroll, and they uh, are paymasters. They do an incredible job, and he's been helping me out, so I want to talk to him in a minute. But I think I want to talk vocal remedies first with Jonathan, because look at what he brought us. This is one of the goodie bags that will go into our, our goodie bags for all of our presenters. I mean... Who knew? What do we do with the uh, Manuka honey? The Manuka honey is um, really good to lubricate the voice. It's a natural antibiotic. Um, it's from the Manuka bush in the New Zealand. So it's, uh, they go by K-factor. Mm -hmm. So you want to have over 12 K-factor, which will benefit your immune system and uh, lubricate the voice. Uh, I sell 16 K-factor and 22 K-factor, which is the most pure honey you can get. Um, and it's the uh, bee pollen from the manuka bush that they cross pollinate, which is so vital for your vocal cords and your immune system. Now I see why they call him Dr. Voice because, um, well, tell me first of all, you started in Toluca Lake with your Toluca Lake mailbox place how many years ago? Well, I owned the store 11 years. Mm -hmm. The store has been there 40. Wow. And, um, you know, they call that store town hall for the entertainment industry. And Why? Why do they call it that? Well, because it's smack in the middle of near Warner Brothers, Disney, Disney Music, Warner Music, all the studios, um, and uh, also Universal. And uh, one of our celebrities, he was Frank Sinatra's um, best friend and road manager, Tony Apasano, Tony mm -hmm. O. And he was Don Rickles' uh, road manager. And uh, when I bought this location, he came walking in and he says, you know, you just bought Town Hall. <laughs> so I said, what are you talking about? He says, you know how many deals have gone down in this store? He said, all the old timers call this store Town Hall. That's and great. Uh, everybody goes down, like half the people go down for their Oscars, uh, all get their fan mail at our location. That's great. And, and if I tell you, it's like the tiniest little store. You get very up close and personal with Jonathan <laughs> and the folks behind the counter. But it, the mailboxes themselves look like they've been around a long time and yes. that that store has been there. So um, we met Jonathan because he runs the Toluca Lake mailbox place. But it's one of the few places I've seen in L.A. that his sign above it says vocal remedies. Yes. So he's sort of renowned, like David Kay, who will be doing the keynote address for VO Mastery, 
uh, comes to Jonathan. He's one of your biggest fans. Oh yeah. He, uh, he was, you know, one of the big voices in uh, Ratchet and Clank mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. uh, Stallone. Did and, you know uh, he narrated Up? No. The film Up? Yeah, he was yeah. the narrator on that. So every time he has an issue and for maintenance of his voice, uh, he comes to, you know, to our store to get lozenges and sprays mm -hmm. and uh, honey and syrups. To, well, uh, this is fantastic. So let's just quickly go voice. through um, what's in this uh, little silk Chinese bag. This is what? This is a Manuka honey drop. So it's oh, from it's the same drop. company as the Manuka honey. Mm -hmm. and, Some uh, really nice herbal teas. Yeah, well, these are special teas. These, Which is um, great, especially if you're traveling from out of state. You know, you get into your room, you want to settle in with a nice cup of tea and yeah. some. Well, this is Golden Voice and then a Head and Shoulder Soother. So it'll, it really works on your voice. Okay. Some and, Slippery Elm right. lozenges. The slippery Elm is good to break up the mucus in your neck, and then you coat it with the grethers. Right. So there's different kinds of things. There's mucus, and, and that's what people seem to get a lot uh, hit with a lot. But then there's also just dry throat, right. which could be related to um, allergies or just not being hydrated enough. Right. Honey crystals. What do we do with these honey crystals? These you put in uh, hot water, it becomes a honey ginger tea. Mm -hmm. So this is really good to uh, knock out any congestion in your chest. Uh, they usually the night before you have a performance, it's really good to use this. Great, great. Throat coat tea, which when I did the Oscars, uh, Mariah Carey sent her people to track me down because I always travel with throat coat tea. So those are some really cool goodies. And there's a bunch of them in here. And there's also a flyer that uh, gives information about some other remedies right, that they could website. order from you. So if you live here in Southern California, you actually have the ability to go to Jonathan's uh, uh, store. Now I see we have a big bottle of this. Can you right. tell us this what is this is honey and hold loquat. it up so that they can see it? Yeah, it's a honey loquat syrup. So mm -hmm. this is a one key component for voiceovers. Uh, if you're uh, doing the gaming background voices and you're really abusing your voice, mm -hmm. you tend to sometimes get laryngitis. So you drink it straight when you have an issue. Right. Uh, for maintenance of your voice, this one is the bottle, and then these are the easy packs. Right. So good for backstage. You can bring that for Beautiful. the night. Beautiful. And, uh, so are these some, some other throat remedies? Oh, dry mouth spray. Right. This is Slippery Elm. It's brand new out in the market, and it's better than most of the other sprays. Mm -hmm. uh, you shouldn't be drinking water when you perform. Right. You need to, you, you don't want to this will hydrate you through your performance and I water see. will dry you out. And this is another one of our little sponsors, Vocalese. So that is really cool. I love the honey because I do believe in the essential properties of honey right. and, and it's a, a, a true immune booster from the earth, you know? Um, we have Vocal, vocal rescue, rescue, which is a maintenance tool. Mm -hmm. Bayberry and a propolis tincture. These are all for different things. Right, or if your vocal cords are swollen, uh, this tastes horrible, but uh, <laughs> as soon as you take it, if you can swallow it without having to spit it out, it'll shrink your vocal cords in like instantly. You know, right, it's a, right. Unbelievable. And I'm a big uh, fan of elderberry, so I'm not sure about bayberry, but I'm going to have to and do then a the little research. The propolis came to me through. Uh, uh, Stevie Wonder's makeup artist. Mm -hmm. He uses this at um, this, and you know, I sell it to a lot of musicians when they go this to Coachella. True bee pollen. Yeah, it's bee. true bee pollen. It's propolis. It's mm -hmm. the most nutritious part of it, and uh, it'll coat your vocal cords for uh, you know four to five hours. Cool. Grether's pastilles. So I think when you come to VO Mastery, no matter um, how you're traveling. When you come, we're going to take good care of you. Make sure you've got lots of positive health uh, for your throat. And in just a few minutes after we talk with Tom Alamon at about 6.30 Pacific, 9.30 Eastern, we will have Alyssa Weinzimmer, who is the, uh, she's a vocal health coach, and she teaches you how to make sure your voice is always resonant, that that, that that money voice is always working for you. Yeah. And she can access it and help you access it uh, with some exercises that involve breathing and a little chanting, which is kind of fun. So we're going to do that a little later. 
we're really excited to see you yeah. at the event Thank in you. like a week and a half. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, yeah, it's really coming down to the wire. We're so excited because truly the perfect um, combo for us is to provide people with um, vocal health remedies that will keep them going all day long. And uh, we do a little, I use uh, Thieves Organic Essential Oils, and we're going to make a Thieves tea that I want you to try. Okay. And maybe we'll use some of your honey to sweeten it. All right. Sounds great. So, well, thank you oh, so thank much. You. Thanks for having All me. All right. Jonathan, Thanks. Dr. Boyce, let's give him a little applause. <laughs> thank you. Okay. All right. I'm going to turn this a little bit so that he doesn't have to yeah. feel like he's on super camera here. Did so, you know about Dr. Boyce? Hang on, Arnie. You I didn't know about Dr. Boyce. <laughs> now you do. Okay. I'm still conducting a webinar. So thank you again to uh, Dr. Jonathan. Uh, not an actual doctor, but he has, he has really, no, but he's invested his time and his money into really becoming the go-to person. And trust me, these folks here that are winning Grammys, Emmys, and Oscars, if they come to him for a vocal remedy, he cannot steer them wrong because their uh, vocal health truly is worth a fortune. So I believe he's been doing his studies and he, we are all going to benefit from that. So I say, oh, everybody, they're all saying thank you in the chat, Jonathan. So coming up next here, um, someone who I met just recently and I had no idea how young you are, Tom. <laughs> Wow. Where'd you go to college and how long have you been out of college? Right. Went to the Ohio State University, Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I've been out a few years, you know, but uh, yes, I, uh, I, I give this tribute to my mom and, um, you know, my, my mom's side of the family, but it uh, keeps me looking younger. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, I think it's you know, great. It's yes. You know what? Because when I spoke with you, I had the feeling I was dealing with someone who was very experienced and very uh, self-assured in, in what they were doing. And now when I see your face, I'm like, really? No, but I know you are. <laughs> so let's talk about, because you know I am the champion of union voice talent and want them to be able to go after the work that is out there that is non-union, but it can be converted. So, for example, like, here's an example of how this would work, guys, and, and I'm going to ask Tom uh, how he actually um, handles this. So, say, for example, you have a, um, hang on a second. Thanks. Say, for example, I am the voice of a tag for a commercial. The commercial is non-union. And I'm not the only voice in it. So there's a voice, maybe it's a patient. And then that patient's voice is used in the beginning of the spot. And then I come in, it's a radio commercial and I tag it out. Um, how are we able, if part of the production is not union, to then turn my piece union? How does that work? I would say that this is a really unique situation because um, each is unique in itself. Um, this we could research and possibly go after the waiver for non-professional uh, endorsers, uh, testimonial endorsers. And um, mm -hmm. that would require that the signatory producer get the, uh, the uh, information of the, the script, the uh, spot information, ad ID, and then also get the contact information from the endorser. That's right. submitted within 60 days of uh, the spot airing to the LA office. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know. Because for example, like say it's a spot like that, no one would expect a non-union person who's like a patient that's a mm -hmm. spokes for the hospital to join the union. Like how did they even make a production union if they're dealing with someone, they just wanted their story. Like. Sure, real people. Um, so they're giving that testimony that uh, they just can't, you can't get um, anywhere else. They live right. through it. And uh, it's just a unique situation where, um, you know, they can utilize, they mean the, 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 uh, the, the client can utilize that, uh, that, that, uh, that waiver so that you can do it uh, union and everything. Peace crossed, eyes dotted. So that, yeah, so that we keep it clean because, yes. um, yeah. So 
I mean, that was a unique situation because I know that if I was involved in a production where it was just a bunch of non-union people, but I only want to turn my part union, that's not going to work. The, there has to be some um, uh, standards along the line, and that, that's where the production company comes in and how you worked with them. Um, audiobooks, is there like a standard audiobook contract? It, it seems like people are confused about what the rates are and is it standard if you're non-union or union but you're doing some sort of a a, a contract with a, a publisher or whatever is there a standard rate i would uh, encourage that the uh the uh, the artist reach out to their local sag after office uh there are unique contracts for uh certain clients and um, some payroll companies can act as signatory mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. uh yeah Good. Yeah. Yeah. So um, sitting next to me right here is the beautiful Regina Silva. Oh, the mic's in my face. See? <laughs> and there's Tom yeah. Alleman. So yeah. Tom is from Columbus, Ohio. And I just wanted to bring him on because I know we've talked to a lot of folks here in LA and I know we're going to get a lot more questions at VO Mastery about, hey, I want to take control of my career. I don't want to just wait for my agents to bring me work. I want to go out with my voice Zam player and start finding my own clients, but I am union. And so I need to be able to convert the work. I think everyone needs someone like you in their back pocket, so to speak. Thank you. Uh, we, uh, you know, we like to work with the union, like to work with the voiceover, just um, we're all a team here and, uh, you know, we're here to answer questions. And if um, there's a question that we can't answer, we, you know, we'd like to, you know, think of the union as our partner and, uh, you know, um, include them in all the, uh, you know, getting them as involved when we need to. Right. Are you primarily entertainment business in Ohio or? Yes. Really? Yeah. yeah, we have offices in St. Louis, Chicago, uh, also uh, Miami, and mm -hmm. our, we're headquartered in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Oh, wow. Okay. So, well, thank you so much for coming on with mm -hmm. us, giving uh, us uh, at least the support that we feel that we need. Mm -hmm. How would someone find you? How could someone reach out and, and write you a note and say, hey, I've got this job, blah, blah? Sure. Call anytime, 800-515-9896, uh, extension 2. And they can also visit our website, www.falconpaymasters.com. Okay. And it's Tom Alamon, A-L-L. A-M-O-N. Okay. And do you have a Instagram? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> pushing their Twitter and Instagram these days. But probably not. You're a businessman, right? LinkedIn, no though, Instagram. right? Instagram. Nope. No Instagram, nope. <laughs> LinkedIn, no, no Finsta. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, chatting with us. I look forward to working with you again. I have another, um, another project that we're going to be reaching out to you. For. Wonderful. Thank you for so, having me. Thank you for staying up late in Ohio to be with <laughs> us. Thank you. Bye, Tom. Thank Bye. you. So do we have Bob Merkel in the house? Where's Bob? Let Bob pop. There I am. Hello. There you are. Hi. So maybe Tom, I don't, oh good, Tom's still in the chat. Hi, so Tom. yeah, because I do talk about, uh, Bob has the voice Zam player. So this is a player that you put your audio in when you make your demo, mm -hmm. and then you're able to truly take control of the power of your voice by learning how to market it and work with it and and utilize all the backside the seo and seo and all of those aspects to help you book the work then you have a tom alamon and falcon paymaster in the background they are ready to take that work and, and turn it for you so that you can make payments to the union because you guys i hope you all realize whether you're non-union whatever I want you to become a union talent. I do. I, that's my goal for you. Because if you're a union talent, you are going to be better taken care of throughout the course of your career. The pension and welfare and, and, and being able to maybe retire with a pension one day, you guys are young enough to make that happen for yourselves. So I think it's super important. I can't believe we're going to see you a week from now, Bob. 
I know. I can't wait. What's the weather like? It's been hot today. It was like 90, but I think that trend will change. I, I don't think that's going to be the yeah, case. I hope it cools down. It's yeah. Really well, you could come to Wisconsin where it's 50 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. It's taking us all the way to next Thursday, and it's saying a high of 85 on Thursday, a high of 79 on Friday. Oh, lovely. So, yeah. Great. Like mid to upper 70s that to low 80s would be perfect temperature, especially if you're coming from where are you? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Okay. And you have to say Wisconsin. Wisconsin. <laughs> nice wide vowels if you want to do Midwest. Hi. How are you? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> That's it. I've learned that. There you go. Yeah. Um, so we are going to see you. You have a master class really teaching people how to dive into the voice Sam player. Yes. And, um, I have someone that'll probably surprise you next week. I think he just signed up today. Oh, excellent. Has been using the player, but never had the intensive with you that. that oh, I that's, yeah. that's wonderful. Yeah. And the master class also covers how to set up your website. So it's producer friendly. Right. Right. A little different than people think. So I'm going to go through that. I think it's great. You've been working on this Zam player nonstop. I've been a fan for a few years now, and I want to see everyone convert to the Zam player because as we take the P2P marketing into our own hands, mm -hmm. we can actually skirt around that and really make things work. You know, I love real time casting, those guys are great. They're, good They're union casting agents. They're really working hard to make. Uh, the job opportunities flourish for uh, union talent. And, um, and you, of course, have just developed the better player. Well, thank you. You know, it's a marketing tool. And you're right, Randy, the way the landscape is changing with things that have uh, happened with the company that I won't mention. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, it really puts the onus on each talent Mm -hmm. to persevere with their own marketing. So I've been working on tools like that for a few years now. I think I mentioned we're going to roll something out, give everybody a sneak peek of what we're coming up with that will put the marketing back. It's actually an inbound marketing tool. I won't say more about it than that. And I'm excited to show you because I've been wow. waiting. Yeah, I love it because this is the first really new thing you're excited to share with everybody yes. in, in, in recent. So um, we're going to get to it. You'll do it for the general session, folks that are coming just to sit all day. I think I'll give a, just a little glimpse and then in the master class, we'll go into it a little more. Yeah, you'll be able to dig in deeper. So um, the reason that I invited Regina here, Regina graduated from UCLA last year. Oh, excellent. And you never really thought about voiceover, did you? Um, not really. I actually had some vocal cord issues. Um, I had a polyp on my vocal cord, which hopefully you guys all know how horrible that right. is. <laughs> and you're a singer. You're an actress yeah, and, and I'm a, a singer. singer. And so a year and a half ago, I got vocal cord surgery and it just sounds way smoother and oh, it's healthy true. again. So mm -hmm. now that, you know, you're in it and I know you, I <laughs> feel like it's something that I should pursue or a lot of actors I feel like should pursue because it's such a great tool to know how to do. Yes. Both. I mean, if you're a trained actor and you are looking at taking, you know, doing a play or a film or a TV show, those same skills, you know, miniaturized yeah. into a 30 second commercial or some sort of a narration or e-learning, which is what Jay Michael speaks to. So I'm excited that you are going to co-host the stream with, um, one of your best friends <laughs> who yeah. happens to be my daughter because Regina <laughs> moved to LA from Fort Myers, Florida. Yes. So we brought, uh, we came here after <laughs> Regina did. She finished UCLA. Rachel's just a junior now. But um, I'm excited because I feel that you guys will make great hosts. Why? You're young. You're tied to social media and how mm -hmm. to promote yourselves and hearing how voiceover can take your career to a new level, which will all be new news to you. Exactly. And, I, and I'm excited that people who can't get to Los Angeles to come to the um, VO Mastery mm -hmm. event will be able to watch a live stream. And we haven't really talked about that because of course, uh, Shovita tells me we just have a couple of seats left. And I just wanna make sure that anyone that can get here or already lives here 
finds their way to VO Mastery. We really think it's going to be worth your time to come and spend the day with us on so many levels. But if you are interested and you cannot come, we are going to offer a live stream. It's that fly on the wall experience. And uh, Rachel and Regina will host yes. it. <laughs> and so after every session, you'll basically sort of step closer to the camera and talk about. Yeah, just do a little recap and kind of mm -hmm. go over the main points. And yeah, we'll take away. Yeah. Sure, I like that. So um, for you guys that are on tonight, I'm really excited to have you. Let's see, are there any more questions? You guys are just super positive. I love you. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So do we have, oh, Kelly Doherty is on. Hi, Kelly. Jump up, girl. I want to see you unmute. Oh, or she's probably like, no, Randy, I just washed my hair. Don't make me go on camera. <laughs> so you don't actually have to be on camera. You could just put your dog in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Kelly, Kelly is coming to um, VO Mastery to teach a masterclass on, on radio imaging. Okay. Do you ever listen to Kiss FM? I sometimes, yeah, okay. when I'm driving. So when you hear the female voice <laughs> that talks, that's Kelly. Oh, She's the hello, voice Kelly. on <laughs> Kiss FM and all the top 40 iHeart stations, or some, all the iHeart stations around the country, around the world, wherever they might, might exist. And uh, so we're going to actually co- um, do a, a co-coach, um, a live announce and um, radio imaging class. So I'm really excited about that. I'm seeing a couple of new names on here tonight. So it's great to have you. I wish I knew how to, there we go. Now I can see, see everyone. everyone. <laughs> Isn't that weird? We love the Zoom. Do you guys like it as well? You really like the Zoom? Oh, this is cool. Isn't it cool? So not everyone wants to be on cam. Uh -huh. Maybe they're even doing it on their phone. Oh, Jack Daniel just came in. Hi, Jack. <laughs> Poor oh, Jack almost dog. had a heart attack today with his daw. <laughs> it was of a your fun daw, day. baby. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, Randy. But as you know, it's, uh, I think I've got it in hand. I'm just waiting for the support guy to call me back again. He's got to go up a step from him. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. That is so cute. Kelly took me seriously and she <laughs> put her dog on the camera. Hey, <laughs> your baby. I saw that dog, it likes to own you. Like it lays on your hand and says, mama, don't move until I'm ready for you to move. Hi, Laura Schreiber, how are you? So good to see you. Jamie Dawson. So do you guys have any questions for me? Who wants to know? Let me see just of the few people in the windows that I can see who is coming to VO Mastery. One, two. Oh, okay. So pretty good number. That's exciting. I'm raising my hand, Randy. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> Bobby, wink. If you... <laughs> um, I know, Eleanor, you're not coming, but we're going to work toward getting you out here next year. Okay, girlfriend? Because that's my New York girl. She's got to come across the country to be with us. So let me see. We are looking for Alyssa Weinzimmer. As soon as she checks into the Zoom, we will talk to her. Um, I know you guys know I have this podcast, uh, the Music Connection Magazine podcast, and Alyssa did the tip jar for me. Have you heard any of the tip jars that we do in the podcast? No. So it comes at the end, and basically the tip jar is a really big part of the magazine. And it's always someone speaking to um, performance, mm -hmm. how to have a great... Um, on stage banter and different kinds of things, how to get uh, on people's playlists if you're an artist. So um, Alyssa jumped on this week and she gave us a way that you can find your resonant voice within just a couple of minutes. Wow. Because, you know, sometimes it takes a while to get going when you're doing VO, but this way you can show up, especially if you have a live session or you're walking into a session and you have to be at your best. I believe um, Carson is at the front door. Would Don't you go? go? Yeah. He's being so sweet. He doesn't want to knock because he doesn't want to make noise. But I see him standing there. And of course, Magic, the great Dane, will probably 
spark, but maybe not. So um, I just confused myself. So where was I going? I'm just a junior student, really want to start trying voice work. Do you have any suggestions for a kid? Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, Carson, Carson just come stepped sit. in. Come sit down. Like Let me identify. This is Kelly Lindner. <sighs> Hello, everyone. Hi, Kelly. Oh, and then Alyssa's in the Zoom, so we're going to talk to her. So Kelly's turned into a dog. Oh, no. <laughs> that's that's our Kelly Doherty. So uh -huh. she's a junior. Does that mean high school student? High school. I yeah. would assume high school. Really wants yeah. to start trying. So Carson, if you haven't joined us before, graduated USC in June with a degree in the music business, mm -hmm. but he came to VO Mastery last year, and he had been very interested in doing a little bit of voice work, but then he really jumped in with both feet, was doing all kinds of audio books and things mm -hmm. your, during your senior year. And now you graduated, and what are you doing? Uh, I graduate right out of graduation. I'm full-time VO, and I'm part-time at iHeartRadio here in LA. Yes, Kelly knows you. There yes, you go. Mm -hmm. I was there this morning <laughs> through this afternoon. Right. Um, yeah, and that was um, being able to go into it full time was a result of of being able to balance the the work, the groundwork, the research, mm -hmm. the the industry knowledge you have to build up, while also doing school. So right. that was, um, you know, it, it it depends on your course load or your area of study. I would imagine if I were pre med or something way more intense than the music industry, that I would have had a lot harder time getting started <laughs> I before so. I graduated. Right. So. Um, but there's tons you can do, especially if you're not in LA when, when you're still in school. But to start you're just a skills. passionate person. Like if everyone yeah. that attempted voiceover did it with the fervor that Carson <laughs> did, you know, you'd all be superstars by now. You know, he's what, six months out of college. So, so the answer to, um, uh, to this Kelly that mm -hmm. asked, find a coach, right? Mm -hmm and just start. Are you doing any Skype coaching yet or? Um, I've done Skype coaching before mm -hmm. with, um, with some folks and it's something I'm continuing to look into. Obviously money's a consideration being right out of college. Um, I would say before getting a coach, like I, I get a coaching session with somebody to figure out where you're at. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and beyond that, just looking at yourself and be like, is this something I wanna get serious about? Because you right. can set yourself up for a really tremendous career because there are not a long, lot of young people um, doing VO on a professional right. level. It's and, true. And you can really set yourself apart by, by, uh, by laying the foundation early. And so if, if you wake up every morning driven by the voice of, I, I eat, sleep, breathe, I'm thinking about researching, working in VO, all the time it never stops and yeah it's, it just happens it's just, that's I, passion yeah that drives it's, it's so yeah. so find the passion for it if you can find a passion in some area of vo whether that's character stuff or or audio books or, right. or whatever you latch on to mm -hmm. grab that by the horns right and, and learn everything you can talk to people who know what they're talking right. about and dive in so that yeah. means talking with a coach in that field you know i was going to say but also as a junior in high school you could if there's any television department mm -hmm. or there's radio. always a voiceover side yes. to school mm -hmm. so try that see if you can get into doing some morning announcements mm -hmm. if you want a little training for live announcing i'll be there for you mm -hmm. um but yeah so someone said thank you does carson have a website for the skype coaching um um I don't, I'm assuming you mean, well, I have a website. There is other websites and is of there, tons of coaching can they, people. But can they contact you through your website? Yes. Yeah. My website is carsonbeckvo.com. I have contact info at the bottom. There you and go. And anywhere you want to reach okay. in the socials. But anything. you're not advertising I'm, any classes I'm not, or I'm not a coach. Okay, I'm not great. a coach and I, I wouldn't want to offer that at my age. Okay. Obviously. Very good. That you said, say? I would say that... Um, look at the lineup of VO Mastery because right. all of the best coaches, Dave, Dave Walsh, Mark it's Cashman, We're, the they're all there. Are all right. But there. this is not a local person. They right, were looking right. for online. But in terms so, of knowing the names to go to, okay. they can look at the lineup. Well, thank you. I'm about to welcome Alyssa Weinzimmer into the Zoom. Step forward, Alyssa. How do we get you to unmute? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, I want, yeah. How do I get her to pop out? Press the little spotlight video thing. Yeah. I, I, I have to be honest, I'm, I, I wonder if I can do it. No, I did it. You're out. You're out. Am I you out? Go. Does everyone yeah, see me? Hi, guys. You're big. You're big. Hi. 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 Hello. So you look beautiful. What did you do tonight? 
So um, in addition to, well, I mean, it's all connected. Uh, I'm a vocal health educator and a presence coach is what I call myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, my newest thing is that I lead chanting on Wednesday nights mm -hmm. um, called Kirtan. Uh, a Kirtan is a Sanskrit sing-along. So here I am next to my harmonium, everyone. <laughs> and we you just finished that. through New York with that? Wait a minute. But, you travel through the city with that? I know. I'm crazy, aren't I? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. That's, that is amazing. So yeah. that's how you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, great. Yeah, Heather, I agree. They are magical. I love your malas that you're wearing. Oh, my God. Thank you. These malas are from Bali. So I'm being my full yogi self right now for you guys tonight. I have some... Uh, yeah, I love yours too, Randy. Yay. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> so um, I was telling them earlier before you came on that you did yes. this jar for VO Mastery. That show yes. dropped today, by the way. You can go listen. You did a great okay. job at the end of the show. So just go Music Connection Magazine podcast in the Apple Store, and it'll come up for you. Okay. So make sure you download, rate, and review. That yes, would, of course. That would be awesome. We <laughs> all will do that. Subscribe. Subscribe, yes. rate, and review. Sub subscribe, but you know rate. what? Uh, I'll talk about this later. I cannot figure out how to rate or review anything. So mm. like that, if I can't figure it out, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think you have to sign in is the problem. It's a little bit frustrating. You have to like sign in and it's another step. Right. You're right. Yeah, I don't like that. I guess you need to put your Apple ID in or something in order to be able to do that. All right, I, I get so. it. We'll do it. So, we'll do it for you. So we are going to see you in about less than 10 days. Less than 10 Yes, days. I'm so excited to come home to LA. I'm in yeah. New York City for those who yeah. don't know. Right. Well, it's going to be nice and warm. I'm sure it's still warm in New York though, right? It's been a weird week. You know, it's that type of situation where um, the buildings haven't turned on their heat yet. It's that week in New York City where we're actually all really cold inside the buildings because they haven't turned on the heat, but it's sort of time, but it's sort of not time. It's that. We're having that time. Yeah. Well, LA is beautiful and lots of blue skies. So we'll oh, welcome you with open arms. I think I'll come visit. <laughs> so for the folks that are on the webinar, is there like a quick little something about your curtain chanting? Like for all of us, we do want to get into good voice. So what would you yeah. do? And is it something you can do in your car on the way or just sit down and be mindful for a few minutes before a session? How, how yeah. easy is it to take this with you wherever you go? I love it. Well, and Yvonne, I just saw on um, the chat asked, is there a vocal warm up I recommend? Mm -hmm. So I think what I'll do is um, kind of bring the, since I'm, I've been in chanting mode this evening, but also, you know, I'm thinking about what I'm going to teach at VO Mastery. Mm -hmm. um, and it all, of course, uh, aligns and comes together. So let me just kind of speak in the middle of all of it okay. um, and say that I think maybe one of the most important things that I always come back to in my teaching is this concept that our voice flows up and out of us. Does that make sense, everyone, when I say that? Our voice flows up and out of us. And, and I think we don't always explicitly realize that that's the case. And in fact, because our human bodies are very used to the idea of the squeeze in, push down, stuff will leave us, we think sometimes that we can squeeze in, push down, and our voice will go that direction. I'm, I'm you know, alluding to the fact that the liquids and the solids go that way, right? <laughs> Got it. Got it. But when we're in the booth or when we're chanting or whatever it is, if we um, tap into this idea that from the area of our center, our core, our guts, if you will, the voice and the energy and the breath flow up and out of us, it can actually take away what sometimes tends to accumulate, which is some like isometric residual pressure on our system, which is, you know, this squeezing in, trying to manage things and make our voice come out. And, and that starts to create pressure and tension in the throat, tension in the rib cage, instead of really just allowing the sound to pour up and out of us from the guts of us. And so something that is very valuable is about chanting is that it helps us tap into the freedom of letting the voice pour up and out of us. Mm -hmm. And I think that all of the warm ups we would do that are really valuable, um, like Yvonne is asking about a good warm up, tap us into that connection too. So let me take us kind of step by step through a couple stage warm up right now. Um, and it'll tie into what I did on the tip jar the other day as well. So we'll kind of get that in there. Yeah, I know. I'm going to take you guys through everything. 
So I'm going to sit where I am right now and put my hands on my belly. Everyone just take your thumbs at your navel and your hands below that on your belly. And um, this part of you, where your hands are right now, so anatomy, I'm, I, as you can probably tell, I like yoga. I'm certified in yoga. I'm a yoga teacher as well. And I'm obsessed with anatomy. And so I'll just tell you, even though you probably already know this, that your intestines are underneath your hands right now. One thing that you may realize but not realize is that your stomach is not underneath your hands right now. Your stomach is actually up higher underneath the left side of your rib cage. Common misspeaking thing that we say, right? So right here where your guts are, when we breathe, the air doesn't go here. That's fair, right? The air only goes into our lungs. And yet we have all this language around um, breathing with our belly. And really the idea actually is that when the contents of our belly, which are kind of in a water balloon for all intents and purposes, think about a water balloon, how it squishes around, when they squish around, um, that becomes really, really useful to us in terms of breath support, in terms of powering the breath. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna draw the belly in as we make an SH sound. I'll go in profile so you guys can see. We're going to go like that and draw the belly in. But then, of course, the trick that we must do in order to be able to do this again in the next round is we have to let go in between. So it's going to look like this. It's going to look like shh, let go, shh, let go. You're doing great, Carson. Thank you. Let go, shh, let go. So can you feel that? We're pulsing the shh, let go thing, yeah? Let's do it eight times. Ready, everyone? Here we go. Okay. Shh, let go, shh, let go. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. I'm laughing because Lonnie's saying my belly hasn't been that far in for about 20 years. <laughs> you have abdominal muscles. I'm proud of you, Lonnie. Um, so now, now here's the thing. Sometimes we might actually get into the opposite pattern where our belly goes out instead of in while we make sound. And that's what I like to call the poopy breath. <laughs> we don't want poopy breath. We don't want to try to make the sound, the energy go down. We want it to go up and out, right? So let's now take this into our voice. Instead of doing shh, and Heather, I would love to have you in my yoga class. Instead of doing shh, now we're going to do the sound hey, okay? We're warming up on the sound hey. So eight times. When the belly draws in, we say, hey, and then we let go in between. Here we go. Ready? And hey. 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 Let go. Hey. Let go. Hey. Let go. Hey. Hey. Two more times. Hey. Hey. Good. Okay. So now the so question- My voice went down. It didn't go up. Like you were playing at the end, but it I makes my voice go deeper, right? Yeah. So ultimately, this gets into a little bit of um, like really the uh, acoustics of how sound works. But when we get more of the energy flowing up and out, we're going to get more vibration at the vocal cords themselves and also probably more space in the vocal tract, which means more resonance. More resonance is going to ge very generally, uh, 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 we're going to hear it in our naked ear as a richer, fuller tone, mm -hmm. right? And so while the fundamental frequency of our voice is not actually necessarily going down in pitch, we're gonna have this sensation that there's just more richness, more color, more sound in the yeah. sound. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. If we were to look at our voice on a waveform, which our producer might very well be doing, um, we would see that the amplitude has gone up, the waveform is bigger, and in fact, if we were looking at a spectrograph, I think we have an animal over here, don't we? <laughs> if we were looking at a spectrograph, we would see that there's more harmonics, there's more overtones above the fundamental frequency. So, um, so now, what I would invite all of us to do, and we're all on mute so you can all do this, is you can either do something as simple as count out loud up to 10, or read a little piece of copy and see how your voice feels and sounds. Everyone just take a moment to play with your voice for a second. Mm -hmm. I just really want to be a part of these exercises. Yeah, see that. I really, yeah. And I'm just scrolling through as, as 
I'm giving you guys this time and wow, look at all these awesome people on the line. This is great. <laughs> um, great. Does anyone want to share? Can I, is that okay if I ask for sharing? Does anyone, well, I have people chatting. This is great stuff. It's a mix of tech and art. That's totally my thing, Bobby. Yeah, it's me, isn't it? Mm. So basically, when we tap into our guts, I like to say speak from the guts of you because when we tap into our guts, we actually just get more energy flowing up and out. It allows us to really, really send more of the, I mean, here, here's the sort of Rube Goldberg machine of the whole thing, if you will. Rube Goldberg machine being one of those machines, you remember from the like big beginning of Back to the Future, where, yeah. you know, like the chicken lays the egg and it like, and then the dominoes go and all the, all the stuff, right? Like, um, so um, the Rube Goldberg machine of our breathing into voice is that when we draw on the low belly, it descends this water balloon of our abdominal sac upwards. The top of the abdominal sac is the diaphragm. The diaphragm is supported as it returns back to its dome shape. That allows the air to travel out of the lungs at a pace that is consistent in terms of pressure in order to set our vocal cords into motion. There's some really fun science about how the airflow sets the vocal cords into motion. It's actually an aerodynamic principle called the Bernoulli effect. Mm -hmm. The vocal cords get set into motion. It chops the air into sound waves. Those sound waves bounce around inside the vocal tract, fancy word for your throat, basically they bounce around, they become not just a fundamental frequency, but they have the harmonics. And then all of that gets shaped by our, our articulators and leaves us as speech and communication, right? right? So the more movement we have from the guts in the get-go, the more information we have pouring through that whole system. Yay, physics, I agree, Bobby. I, it's so <laughs> funny. When I was in high school, I, physics was my least favorite subject. And now I teach it all the time. But um, so anyhow, um, the reason I share all of this too, well, I share all of this and then I want to say it in a much simpler way, which is to give you a metaphor. Your voice is like a garden hose. What do we do with the garden hose? We turn it on. The water flows through the hose. We point it somewhere towards wherever the plants are that we want to water. Oh the water lands on the plants. We may do that cute thing where we put our thumb over the end of the hose so it sprays nice, right? You guys do that, right? And then it lands on the plants. What do we not do with the garden hose? We do not go to the middle of the hose and go like this and squeeze it and go, hey, water, continue going. Please don't <laughs> stop. That would be so silly. <laughs> and yet in that moment when you're in the booth, and you're concerned about your voice and you're starting to get a little bit vocally fatigued and the session has been going on a little too long. You guys know the moment I mean, we might start squeezing with the muscles of our throat. We might start squeeze, squeezing with the muscles of our rib cage. When we do that, we think we're doing something helpful. We think we're helping our voice by squeezing it along the tube when in fact we're actually causing a tangle. Right? So what we actually want to do, if the hose is tangled, yes, untangle it. Deal with the middle of the hose if it's tangled. If the hose is not tangled, leave it alone. Just turn on the water. That's our guts, right? So what we really want to concern ourselves with, with is the bottom of the tube, the top of the tube, the breath support at the bottom of the tube, the articulation and resonance at the top of the tube, and leave the rest to do itself. That being said, if we get tangled, here's something we can do. Here's another good warm up. Okay. Everyone take one hand, reach it across your body and grab onto the top of your trapezius muscle. Mm -hmm. Squeeze on tight, let your arm hang loose and now rotate that shoulder in your socket. Mm -hmm. And what I really mean is rotate the entire shoulder girdle around, not just arm and socket. Mm -hmm. And as you do this, we're loosening up, which is what is probably some very, very common habitual tension for a lot of us, right? I'm trying to get in on this, but the dog wants a massage too. <laughs> it's all over me. <laughs> I love it. Okay, go ahead and let that go and wiggle both sides of your shoulders. Does one side feel different than the other? Yeah. Okay, I won't leave you hanging. Let's do the other side. <laughs> Squeeze on and circle. So the principle behind this exercise that we're doing right now 
is actually very related to something called active release therapy, which some of you may have encountered in like physical therapy type space, which is that instead of just massaging, we're using the movement to repattern the use um, and function of our muscles. So if you wiggle that out once you feel even, or if you can feel even, sometimes we're not even, that's okay. Do you feel more free in your shoulders? Mm -hmm. Does this feel like a better state in which to stand in front of the mic? Mm -hmm. My guess yes. is yes, right? <laughs> and even if I give you a moment to count out loud up to 10 again, or do that same piece of copy, does your voice feel or sound any different? <laughs> I need a cigarette. Now. One with that. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, no, it, it feels good. It feels good. Mm -hmm. I would feel so good after like an hour with you between self-massage, chanting, <laughs> stretching, breathing, I would be ready for anything. Well, gosh, aren't you giving me an opportunity to do that? At yes, the <laughs> we are. Yes, we are. I was going to say. We're so excited. I so get longer than an hour, don't I? Yes, you do. That's your master class. Yes, my master, master class. class is more than an hour. And uh, if I can sneak my way in there, I am definitely going to do that. But I mean, now, did we talk about getting together early in the morning on Saturday? The event starts at nine. For anyone that wants to come early and do a little breathing, a little stretching, uh, whether we do chair yoga or whatever, we'll, yeah. we'll have a place um, for this to take place. And if you yeah. want to get centered and grounded before the actual full day event begins, uh, plan on coming early and I will connect you. You'll, I'll be there. So we're going to do it yeah. together with a list. Yeah, we're all going to warm up at 8 a.m. It's happening. I will be leading that. And so we'll do, um, so my business is called Voice Body Connection. So as you can guess, it's about our voice and our body. Um, so we're going to, you know, move and we're going to do a little bit of yoga. Like basically this is your opportunity, like you said, to take my yoga class. Right. Um, I think Heather asked, right. And then, um, and then in the, um, in the master class that we're doing later in the day is where, when we're going to go more deeply into some of this, like the physics and the ideas behind everything. And you know, what we, what I really like to cover the stuff that I feel that is most important, um, I mean, there's really sort of a, a range of things mm -hmm. and we can also do whatever people want to talk about in Q&A time. Um, but really it's about getting into our breath support. So we make sure that that's working for us. Right. Understanding, basically we have to understand what to do on a good day and what to do on a bad day. Right. 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 That's what right. we need to understand as people who rely on our voices for our profession. So right. the what to do on a good day, day stuff is how to warm up, uh, what, what diet stuff is affecting our voice, um, how to make sure that our breath support is activated before we go into our daily sessions, etc. Yeah. And then the triage, as I like to call it, is what happens on that day when you wake up and you really just... What if? What if? Yeah. All right. Well, we will go into that. Yeah. I am not going to let you go into it now because I want everybody to have to come and see you so they can Perfect. find all that. And I want to talk about a few things we have. First of all, we have auditions, lots of auditions. We had a game show last week. We have a confidential audition for attendees only that is getting posted. Cool. Um, I'm looking for uh, a voice for the Music Connection Magazine podcast. We have our main announcer, but we have a few features and we're looking to um, let some folks audition for that. Jamie's all over it. So the Music Connection Magazine podcast, make sure you read the direction because it's not radio, it's not broadcasting, it's a podcast. It's got to have that hip, cool vibe. If it sounds like an announcer, it, we may not make it to the end of the line. <laughs> Seriously, like by the time you get to the, the end of the sentence, magazine. we will have stopped it. So I want you to find this resonant voice that Alyssa is showing you that you can come back at it with a chill, connected, kind of cool vibe. That's so what we're looking for. So here. I love that, Randy. That's been one of my favorite things to coach lately is for podcasts. It's so fun to work on that sound. I there love it. Go. I love mm -hmm. it. So you're going to, I, th I think what I'll learn from you will be part of my new regimen that I'll, I'll do all the time. 
I love it. Why don't I ask right now too, just while I have people on the line who are listening, you know, and, and uh, a captive audience, what do you guys want from class? Let me know what you want from master class. Okay. Are there questions you have for me that you want me to prepare some stuff? Okay. Um, and if this is an okay moment, what I'll also share and plug is that I teach an online class as well. And that'll be available after, um, after VO Mastery. So every six months I teach an online workshop called Vocal Health for VOs for Great. you guys. And um, enrollment for that is gonna open actually, uh, when is enrollment gonna open? On the 24th, that's Tuesday. Oh, okay. um, so if you wanna be on my mailing list and be sure that you hear when enrollment opens, just head there over to voicebodyconnection.com. There you go. And there's right. a thing right at the beginning, at the top of the, the thing that says sign up to take the quiz. That's mm -hmm. how you get on the mailing list. Okay, great, great. You should put a link in the chat when you get a second. Oh yeah. Why don't you do that? Perfect. Perfect. Good going, Carson. So we are going to have more auditions and they're all paying auditions, okay? Um, by the way, the wonderful folks at Hertz Rent-A-Car have come aboard and we are going to be giving away a two-day rental for anyone coming. Someone in the chat tonight is going to win a two-day car rental. So um, if you live in LA and you win it, more power to you. Um, and if you are coming in from out of town, I think that's awesome. So you get a two-day rental from Hertz and it's right near the hotel. So that'll be really groovy. Show I know. <laughs> Show Vita, are we going to randomize? Is that how you want to do this giveaway? We did. Yep. We talked about that there's a confidential audition coming through, that we have a music connection audition. We have, uh, and a couple more that will show up between top now secret. and they are kind of top secret <laughs> in the event. Um, plus, during the course of the event, in the general session, someone will get to stand up and read. And we will have coaches in the room that will decide who the best live read was pretty no, much no every pressure. hour. No pressure. <laughs> but you know, if we start with Alyssa, then for sure we're going to have our resonant voice. So mm -hmm. this is how we have to do this. Um, so show Vita, should be a dance -off we're up to speed. We've got the moves. We are up to speed with everything. All right, she's got to put all the names into some sort of a randomizer. Ah, oh. okay, so because the Rent-A-Car giveaway is for registrants only, do we want to um, give folks till midnight tonight and pull the name tomorrow and announce it? Yeah, so if you're thinking about coming to VO Mastery, go to VOMastery.com and uh, use the code VOICES50 and pick up your ticket. And then we'll see that you've registered. We will hold off um, to pulling our Hertz Run a Car winner until midnight tonight. I it's a good car you get too. It's not just like a buggy. Yeah, course. no, it's it. And you know, Hertz is a, it's a classy rent a car. Company. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's definitely not the one you look for for a bargain. So the fact that we've got two days of Hertz mm -hmm. sounds good to me. All right. Well, you guys, if you have any last minute questions, um, post them. If not, this is our last webinar before we see you at VO Mastery. Oh. I've had a great time with you guys. I It really warms my heart every week when I sit in front of the screen and I see you guys all, oh all there waiting and uh, coming in. Uh, so show Vita's chiming in and letting you guys know what's going on. We are Susan Maisel. I like that. That's funny. <laughs> Someone said, will you be yeah. sitting out? Yeah. I'm going to unmute again too and just say this was so delightful to be on tonight. Thank you for having me and I can't awesome. wait to see you. Thank We're going to be there. there. Thank you, Alyssa. We love you. you. Thanks, this Alyssa. Woman. Yeah, she is a breath of sunshine. Like every time I see her, that smile, her energy, there's so much light beaming from you. So you really uh, know. Namaste. Thank you so much. So, okay. So we do repost. 
And I guess uh, we're going to go uh, ahead. The live webcast until, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. On, so the online. live yeah. webcast, we're good. This webcast or? No, at the event. For, for Regina, the one that she and Rachel are going to host? Yeah, I think the, yeah, the, the live, live stream. Yeah. We're going to start selling that soon for anyone that cannot get to VO Mastery. We would love to know that you're there during the day with us from wherever you are. And um, it's going to be a jam-packed day. Mm -hmm. But we want to make it super affordable. So um, we think that we found a nice price point that's going to be super affordable for anyone that wants to sit in on VO Mastery. It's our fourth year. We think it's our best one yet. So bye, you guys. Thank bye. you so much. We'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks, Randy. Bye. bye. Thank you, Bob Merkel. We'll see you next week. Can't wait. Yeah, absolutely. My birthday is this Sunday, by the way. Oh, oh, okay. Birthday, Randy. All right. Talk All to right. you soon. Peace. <laughs>